Hey, what is up, guys? It is your boy, I'm up here who bring you another video today. And today, guys, we are actually going to be playing the brand new Gundam game. So it is a brand new mobile game uh, published by Bandai Namco, of course. Uh, personally, with the Gundam series, my history with it, I used to watch the show whenever I was little on Toonami, I remember. Uh, apart from that, I haven't really seen too much of the newer Gundam stuff. I kind of remember some of the older stuff, but not too much. But I do have fond memories of watching the show and also playing some of the PS2 games back in the day. So uh, we're going to see how this game kind of shapes up and all that. I'm pretty excited. So if you guys are excited, don't forget to hit that like button subscribe for more game content just anything mostly grand summoners and if this is good then i may start playing this too um and all that so yeah part another guys let's get into the video so i'm assuming the male character is us oh i get options like rpgs you're cute <laughs> i'm not supposed to talk to strangers meanwhile this guy looks like he's freaking 16 good lord <laughs> and he's in the middle of a shopping mall and this girl's clearly the same age as him. And apparently from this line right here, he knows her, I've seen her before from school. So, oh my God. So she wants us to be partners. I'm gonna say it, man, whoa, way too fast. Hold up now. So I drag along the screen. All right, here we go, we're in some same gameplay now. So we drag along the screen to move our Gundam, or they call it Gumpla, so, huh. Uh, I think I did it. Oh wait, no, I was supposed to go all the way, okay. It also seems like you can skip the tutorial if you want to, but I'm not gonna do it because I don't know how to play the game, so. The game crashed. I literally was doing the first melee attacks and the game crashed. Oh God, please don't show, please don't say this is a premonition of what's happening on the game currently. Well, the game did completely crash, like I just said, so I have to completely restart it and redo the tutorial, but Bruh. holy good mother of God. I'm not gonna lie to you. I really wanna play this game <laughs> and it's just not letting me. I'm just gonna say it. We may have got the Anthem treatment right here on this one, boys. We may have got treated like Anthem. Oh God. Okay, so I skipped past that and I was able to actually play the game. So we have a gun. I am definitely gonna have to, cause I'm playing this on Nox right now. If I wanna keep playing this game, I'm gonna have to set up some keybinds. Now I can use my middle button, which is, what is it? It's this one right here. There we go. Oh, that's a cool animation. Please don't crash the game. <laughs> Please don't crash the game. I just want to play the game. So here's the thing that I want to know. I've, I don't know what actual like gaming studio made this, but they would, would they just like, let's just release this very unstable mobile game. <laughs> uh, it could be that I'm playing on Nox, so I'm giving it the benefit of the doubt. But because sometimes with some emulators during tutorials specifically, it will crash on emulators. So maybe that's what I'm getting. Maybe this isn't the case on your, you know, your smartphones and stuff. So I'm going to skip through all of this because that seems like the best method to do personally. It's just skip through everything and just say, fuck it. I'll learn as I go. <laughs> Dude, this guy's like freaking 16 or something. Haven't held hands in ages. Unless he knows this girl, which apparently he doesn't because, you know, from the beginning, the man doesn't have a neck beard. Register for what? All right. So we learned how to build our Gundam or Gumpla. What the, this scrawny ass thing right here, dude? Where's my other? I remember that headpiece from somewhere. I do remember this headpiece from one of the Gundam games. I remember seeing this Gundam, or at least like the head of it from somewhere. Not like this entire Gundam, because this entire Gundam definitely isn't <laughs> that old one, but. Yeah, I found it. It's this PS2 game right here. Bro, back in the day, this thing was fire. I remember playing this game so much whenever I was a kid. I just want to play the game. That's all I want to do is play the game and make a video on it. We have currently been recording for 20 minutes and I haven't even got past the tutorial because it keeps crashing. So I found out the secret strat, which is just skipping everything and getting to the actual game because the tutorial just sucks. We are finally in the menu of the game from what it looks like and we get to go on a mission. Please don't crash. Oh, never mind. We're not going on a mission. Never mind. We're going to the capsule. We're going to the gotcha system, boys. All right, so we get a free multi-summon. We get a three-star slot guaranteed. Or, wait, no. Three-star slot confirmed. So, guaranteed three-star. Um, it seems like it goes up to five-star, though, unless three-star is the max at first. Then you have to evolve it or something. Let's see what happens, though. 
It also seems like too right here at the bottom, uh, there is gotcha tickets as well, because it says standard capsule tickets, zero own. So it seems like there's gotcha tickets too, which is also good. All right, here's the summoning system. Uh, we touch, touch. I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking for. That's only two star, that actually looks sick though. Okay, so the color of it depicts what it's going to be. So if it's blue, it's three star. If it's green, it's two star. Good lord, so this saber increases my attack by a ton compared to this. You can see it goes from 72 melee attack to 142, but it seems like my armor decreases. I don't know if this is like overall or if this is just, this is definitely just for this. So my armor decreases, which is, I'm assuming, physical attack. No, no, wait, no. But yeah, I don't know what armor is actually. Uh, does it tell me if I hover over it? No, it doesn't. So it reduces my melee defense, but increases my shot defense, my beam resist, and physical resistance by 20 and 10. So I guess I'll click the, uh, I'll take the saber. All right, so we got some more uh, stuff. So let's see what the drop rate is currently. Oh God. So it's a 5% chance for you to get a four star, 25% chance for you to get a three star, and 70% chance for you to get a two star. So there's two different pools too. There's the prime pool and there is a normal pool. So the way how you do a prime pool, I am not exactly for sure. Maybe it's a ticket summon or something. Okay, so what these do right here, these uh, these pilots, they give you different bonuses uh, from right here, your part traits. They give you different stuff. And then we'll pick this because this is just better all around. And I, I think I would prefer the skill CT over everything else or the skill cooldown. And you can see how right here at the bottom we have three different traits, which I actually cannot see what these traits are. And then we have the frame point stuff too. The frame point stuff is able to give you five stars as well. Um, as you can see right here, we can see the drop rates too. The drop rates for these though are actually 2%. Actually, wait. Um... How do you get these stuff? Because this stuff right here shows that like you can get the five stars, but if you go into the drop rates, it doesn't show it. Let me see. So can you not actually get five stars from this? Or can you maybe mutate them into that or something? I'm not for sure. We're gonna do a summon just to see what we can get. I don't wanna do one on the pilots. I kind of want more stuff for my Gundam. So we'll see what we can get. Oh, this one's purple this time. It's not blue. So does that mean that we have a good chance at a four star these actually look sick holy mother of god look at them thighs oh we got yep yep four star four star oh and we got what is that is that a sniper a 60 millimeter high energy beam rifle holy shit and if you hold, hover over it we can see what it does so let's see what it does so it has uh part traits we have outfighter um let's see enemy shooting power reduced by 17 percent it's decent. A lot of shot attack, a lot of armor, and some good physical resistance from this. So this is another thing too that I'm not quietly, I'm not completely understanding is right here where it says word tag and it says transformer and for base. Raises all parameters 1% while active. Base category gets an extra 3%. So I'm assuming if your Gundam has base as a word tag it's similar to maybe dokkan's categories where certain items are able to buff up the units uh based on whatever tag they are in so if you put this if i put this on my gundam it should get the tag base i'm assuming and with that it will increase it by three percent instead of a one percent parameter boost so yeah so what it looked like was whenever uh, that popped up. If it pops up purple, it seems like it may be guaranteed four star. So anything that just gives me a ton of shot attack, that's probably what I'm going to do. I don't want this because you guys see how stupid that shit looks right there. Holy shit. <laughs> so guys, it seems like the game won't work anymore. I've got to the point to where I'm past the tutorial and I just went on my first mission. I customized my Gundam and... So far with the game, the gameplay and all that, I want to say that it's really fun. There's a lot of customizable stuff you can do in the game, like, you know, customizing your Gundams, getting skills, and getting all that type of stuff for your Gundam. It's really cool and really fun. Um, I want them to fix this as soon as possible because I would like to play it more, but to give you, you know, a full, actual, honest thing for it. But for right now, this is all you see. Whenever you play this game, this is all you're going to see, at least for right now. The main thing, the main problem I can see currently with the game 
is that if you cannot get items from events, like because there was an event tab that I saw on the mission tab, if you cannot get equipment like Gundam parts and stuff from events, this could be pretty bad because this game will be heavily favored for the whales, which most gacha games are. Pretty much every single gacha game ever created is favored for whales. It's just that it's going to be a lot harder. Um, also, the tickets and all that, like the prime pool and everything that we saw in the summoning, I'm not so sure how you unlock that or how you get that. I don't know if you have to pay uh, for currency and you get the prime pool or what, but I don't know if it's tickets or if it's that or what it is. Um, so yeah if it is just for everybody and it's just tickets then that's really good because that's you know a good free to play thing um you can save up your tickets wait for a specific gundam part or something like that to get featured on a banner that you really want and then pull for it and then you know use the prime pull and you know have the best chance of getting that item um apart from that uh it seems everything else is really fun gameplay wise is really fun the game runs smooth when it wants to run it runs pretty good i'm not gonna lie to you whenever i was going through the tutorial and stuff before i just had to skip everything because it kept crashing it was going pretty well i was enjoying it there's a lot of cool movements a lot of cinematic shots a lot of cinematic angles and all that whenever you do stuff it makes you feel really cool and really powerful with your uh, gundam and there's a lot of customizable options that's the main thing that i really like too uh everything just seems so customizable from colors to specific parts on your gundam and everything so i like that a lot uh it's just that bundai guys you guys need to fix this asap or people aren't gonna play your game <laughs> so yeah i want to keep playing this game but i can't because it keeps getting stopped i'm gonna try it on my phone see if it runs any better but guys that's actually gonna be it for the video today man that was gundam battle gunpla warfare there we go that is a mouthful but guys that was that game right there tell me if you enjoyed it in the comment section below tell me if you're having the same issues that i'm having or is it specifically an emulator issue if it's specifically an emulator issue then that's perfectly fine it's just that i couldn't really try too much on it um so yeah um that's that guys thank you all for coming out don't forget to like comment and subscribe bundai you guys please fix your game this game is really cool and i want it to be fixed so please Fix your game. And I'm out, guys. Peace.